From our earliest days, we developed the habit of playing the odds. Even the youngest children observe the world, trying to figure out its patterns and determining what things are most likely to succeed and what things are most likely doomed to fail. And this, of course, makes sense. But as the people of God, we're invited to set this game aside and instead play a radically different game. The second week of Lent, we are given the story of the origin of God's chosen people with Abraham and Sarah, two people to whom God promised that from their very own heir, a biological son, descendants as numerous as the sand on the seashore would be born. And yet this promise was made to them at a time when they were far too old to reasonably expect to be able to conceive and bear a child. And yet God brought it to pass. The sheer improbability of this event and the many events that occurred after it that have resulted in a people of God now billion strong throughout the globe is staggering. And yet God brought it to pass. The scripture speaks of this even rather casually. What we're to make of it is an invitation. An invitation to set aside our usual tendency to play the odds as we calculate them in our human sphere, and instead to play the odds in God's way. And in God's way, this game is very simple. It's a matter of prayerfully listening and looking, always allowing in an active way our wills to be aligned with the divine will, and trusting that when that happens, any plan we may conceive of, any venture we may start out on, regardless of its improbability or even impossibility, with God's help will experience glorious success.